Allison Pill is here. Allison plays Mary Cheney, the daughter of former Vice President Dick Cheney in the new movie Vice. Allison stars alongside a cast that includes Christian Bale as the former Vice President, Sam Rockwell as President George W. Bush, Steve Carell as former Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld, Amy Adams as Lynn Cheney. It's getting rave reviews. It's leading the pack of Golden Globe nominees with six, the most of any film, Allison Pill. Welcome back to Good Day LA. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Uh, congratulations. So Mary Cheney, uh, let's talk about her because I think there's some people that may not remember her place in American history. She's the daughter of Dick Cheney. Mm -hmm. Dick Cheney uh, is running at a time when all these gay marriage bans are on the ballot in so many states that helped the Bush-Cheney ticket mm -hmm. and yet Mary Cheney is a lesbian. Yes. And openly so. And openly so, and with a partner for a long-term partner, and actually came out when she was still in high school, um, which we see. And, and for uh, everybody swears that Dick Cheney, when he heard this, which at a time when very few conservative um, dads would be willing to say so, he just said, if this is what it is and this makes you happy, then then you lead your life. And, and this relationship is sort of the emotional heart of the movie. The movie's great. I, I saw it. And, and your scenes, I think, are the most emotional because you see a different side of this guy, this very Machiavellian character right. who, was, who amassed so much power, but he was very different when he was around his daughters. Well, I think the thesis of the movie is that, I mean, first, it, it is, there are lessons about power, but I think it's also about... Um, finding a way into somebody that we didn't, we don't know a lot about his emotional life. He was somebody who held himself back personally from a lot of, um, in a way that that a lot of politicians don't. And I think seeing him with his family and having his family be this driving force through these sometimes horrifying decisions right. made, um, it, it's really fascinating. And you were able to learn a lot about Mary from a memoir that she wrote. Yes, uh, they were not a part of this film, and if you see the film, you would sort of realize that. <laughs> but um, you, you learned a lot about her. And, and one of the, the, the another emotional climax is there's this moment where Liz Cheney, his other daughter, mm -hmm. wants to run for Congress. And there's the question of how do you handle the gay rights issue? And they make a decision that Mary did not approve of. Yes. And I think, I, I, I don't think I can imagine a greater betrayal, especially when the family had gone to such lengths to um, avoid the discussion, which at the time was sort of speaking for the, um, you know, leaving it as a state's issue right. meant that nobody came forward to say they were against gay marriage in the Cheney family. And then suddenly they, they changed their tune. And Liz, and the, Liz the sister, Liz, comes out against gay marriage. Yes. And I, I truly can't imagine what that must feel like to have suddenly your entire life negated by your own sister. Yeah. And that, that's probably the, the most intense moment of, of the whole movie. Um, meanwhile, let's talk about this movie. What a cast. It's and, unbelievable. And, and there's this re reports that Christian Bale, who plays Dick Cheney, mm -hmm. and is unrecognizable. Truly, I mean, truly. He, uh, the first time character. I saw him, I walked by him. We were, it was slightly dark, so I give myself a little pass. But um, there was a man, a kind of brunette with slightly thinning hair and a paunch, and I walked by oh, in the backyard of the house we were shooting at, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I think that's Christian, <laughs> you know, you really would, not, I mean, this nondescript dude being Christian Bale. And then, and, and there's reports that he's, he's a method actor, uh, which means that he stays in character. You say he doesn't, he's not like Dick Cheney all the time, but he talks like Dick Cheney all the time. He definitely, What's that like? So you go to craft services and he's like, hey, uh, can I get some chicken? Or like, what, <laughs> yeah. what are, I like that was good. Are, like, that was very is, good. How does that work? Um, I mean, it, you just get used to it, and you're all trying to stay in the same, you know, vibe. And Amy can kind of click into her Lynn really quickly. But I think Christian stayed in it. It's not his natural accent, and it's not his natural facial arrangement. Right. Um, so he stayed in it. But at the same time, he would be talking about his own. Christian's own life like he wasn't like I'm Dick Cheney you know he right. wasn't pretending to be Dick Cheney but there was definitely seeing him at the premiere later and recognizing this spry Welshman I was like who are you <laughs> who is this person <laughs>
So the, the movie has a lot of, of political themes. It's making a political argument. What do you think is the most important takeaway that you want audiences to take from this? I think the biggest, most important thing to take away is how much executive power has been expanded in the last 20 years. And to really think hard about um, the lack of real checks and balances, and this is this is not on party lines. This isn't. Um, this is political in a in a in a democratic way. Um, small d. In, so yeah, small d. Yes. Yeah. Um, in in the Greek <laughs> democracy, right. um, that that we shouldn't have an executive branch with this much unchecked power. Right. And as Congress has gotten weaker for so many different reasons, yes. the executive power has gotten more. And Dick Cheney, one of the driving yes. forces behind that. Uh, it's a great movie. Congratulations. Thank you uh, so it's much. probably going to be nominated for an Oscar, uh, which is uh, cool to be a part of. And if people want to check it out, Vice Hits Theaters on Christmas Day.